Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As long as a PDF doesn't have security features applied to restrict commenting, you can add comments to any PDF file using Acrobat. Usually, comments are added by document reviewers as messages to the author of the PDF. However, some people also use commenting tools to write notes to themselves while creating PDFs. Commenting tools are found within the Annotations panel in the Comment pane within the Task pane. Most comments added to a PDF contain two parts, the icon or markup that appears on the PDF page and the text that appears as a pop-up message when the comment is selected. Commenting tools include the Sticky Note tool as well as tools for highlighting, replacing, striking through, and inserting text. You can even attach files to a PDF using the commenting tools or add an audio recording as a comment. The Sticky Note is a tool used to apply a comment anywhere where you would like to place it within the PDF pages. To add a Sticky Note to a PDF, choose the Add Sticky Note tool in the Annotations panel in the Comment pane within the Task pane. The pointer will change into a Speech Bubble tool and you can click in the PDF page at the spot where you want the Sticky Note to appear. A pop-up sticky note is then shown on screen containing your reviewing identity name and email address along with the date and time that the note was created. Type the text comment for the sticky note within the text field shown. You can click and drag the border of the sticky note to move it within the page. To resize the note, place your mouse pointer over the bottom corners of the note until you see a double pointed arrow appear. You can then click and drag. When you're done adding text, click back into the PDF document. If the comment list panel is shown within the comment pane of the task pane, then the sticky note box disappears, but the small sticky note markup icon remains on the PDF page to alert viewers that there is a comment relating to the page. They can see the comment appear when they hold their mouse pointer over the comment in the PDF page. You can also double click the markup icon to display the sticky note comment box again if needed. You can click the Highlight Text tool in the Annotations panel in the Comment pane within the Task pane, and then click and drag over text within a PDF page to highlight it. You can click the Add Text Comment tool in the Annotations panel in the Comment pane within the Task pane to add a comment as a text box within a PDF page and enable the display of the Add Text Comment toolbar in the PDF page. After selecting this tool, click into the place in the page at which you want to place a comment within a text box. The insertion point will appear at the location at which you clicked. You can then use the formatting buttons shown in the Add Text Comment toolbar to set the appearance of the text before you type the comment. Then type the comments that you want to display in a text box. You can also click and drag over the text that you just typed and then use the Add Text Comment toolbar to format its appearance after typing the comment if desired. When finished typing the comment, click the Selection Tool button that appears in the Common Tools toolbar to turn off the Add Text Comment tool. Then click into the PDF page to ensure that you are not editing the text in the comment. When you roll your mouse pointer over the comment, you should see a blue bounding box appear. You can click and drag the bounding box to move the text comment within the page. You can place your mouse pointer over the resizing handles that appear on the border of the bounding box and then click and drag to resize the text box. 
you can place your mouse pointer directly over the text within the box and click into it to edit the text again. You can then click into the PDF page again to stop editing the text if needed. You can click the small X in the upper right corner of the Add Text Comment toolbar to close it if needed. You can click the Attach File tool in the Annotations panel in the Comment pane within the Task pane to add a file as an attachment to the PDF. After selecting this tool, click at the place within the PDF where you want the markup for the attachment to appear in order to launch the Add Attachment dialog box. Use this dialog box to navigate to and then select the file to attach. Then click the Open button in the Add Attachment dialog box to open the File Attachment Properties dialog box. On the Appearance tab, you can set the icon, color, and opacity of the icon used for the markup in the PDF page. On the General tab, you can enter a subject and description for the attached file. Then click the OK button to add the markup to the PDF page. A user can double-click the attachment icon to display the Open File dialog box if they want to open the file. You can click the Record Audio tool that appears in the Annotations panel in the Comment pane within the Task pane to add an audio recording to the PDF. After selecting this tool, Click at the place within the PDF page at which you want the markup for the audio file to appear in order to launch the Sound Recorder dialog box. You can then click the Record button in this dialog box to start recording the audio you want to add to the PDF. Then click the Stop button to stop the recording when finished. You can then click the Play button to play the recording back if needed. When you are ready to add the audio, click the OK button to open the Sound Attachment Properties dialog box. On the Appearance tab, set the icon, color, and opacity of the icon used for the markup. On the General tab, you can enter a subject and a description for the sound file. Then click the OK button to add the markup to the PDF page. Once again, a user can double-click the audio icon to play the audio recording within the PDF. You can click the Add Stamp tool that appears in the Annotations panel in the Comment pane within the Task pane to add a stamp to the PDF page. After clicking this tool, you click the Stamp to Apply from the choices shown in the drop-down menu. You will then see the stamp appear when you place your mouse pointer over the PDF page. You can then click when the stamp appears over the desired location in the PDF page to add the stamp to the page. We will discuss using this tool in more detail in a later lesson in this chapter. The next few tools are used for editing text within a PDF. You can either click one of these tools and then select the text in the PDF, or select the text in the PDF, and then click the desired text tool to make the text change. The tools are Insert Text at Cursor, Add Note to Replace Text, Strike Through, Underline, and Add Note to Text. For each tool, other than the Strike Through and Underline, you will need to enter text into the pop-up text box that appears after using each tool to denote the text editing change to make. Also note that when using the Insert Text at Cursor tool, you will only need to click at the point in the text at which you want the replacement text to be inserted versus actually selecting text. Each tool produces a unique markup on the PDF page. The Insert Text at Cursor tool inserts a blue upward pointing triangular insert icon.
the Add Note to Replace Text tool will actually place a blue strike through the text to remove as well as an insert icon. The strike through tool will simply place a red line through text to remove. The underline tool places a green underline under text. The add note to text tool, which is a combination of the sticky note tool and the highlight text tool, highlights selected text and adds a sticky note bubble next to the highlighted text. Now the text correction markup tool is very useful for quickly making text editing markups within a PDF page. To use this tool, click it to select it within the Annotations panel in the Comment pane within the Task pane. Then simply select, replace, insert, and delete the text within the PDF to have Acrobat automatically create the associated markups within the PDF page as you make the corrections using your keyboard. Now when used this way, this tool is like a combination of the insert, replace, and strike through tools and can save you quite a bit of time in having to pause to decide which text annotation button you need to click before making a correction to text within a PDF page. You can delete any annotation in the PDF page by right-clicking the markup icon of the annotation to remove and then choosing the delete command in the pop-up menu that appears. Alternately, you can simply click the markup icon to select it, and then press the delete key on your keyboard to delete the annotation. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.